Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And I have a number of very interesting news. The first one from Scotland, the Dumfail Distillery uh, announces Matt McKay for his director of whiskey creation and outreach. Yeah, we've already talked a little bit about the distillery and now in December 2021, they began with their yeah, workings and now Matt McKay is the new director of whiskey creation and when the distillery is finished, he wants to produce 200,000 liters of pure alcohol per, per year. So congratulations to Matt McKay. Now the, there's a traditional bland brand, Brig or Perth, it's called, and that is being rejuvenated. It's kind of the sister brand to the famous Grouse, and now it got bought by the Whiskey Cellar. It's an independent bottler, and now they want to yeah, bring it out new and rejuvenate the brand. Then this is it for Scotland, not that many news for Scotland this week, but a lot of news from Ireland. Ireland, master distiller Noel Sweeney is leaving Power Court Distillery. He was um, working for five years there and he really put his mark on the taste of the whiskey in uh, this distillery. He, uh, Noel Sweeney was 27 years uh, master distiller at Cooley, so very, very experienced. And he was also a founding member of the Irish Whiskey Association. What he's gonna do in the future, we're not quite sure yet, but uh, Hopefully we will stay uh, yeah, faithful to the whiskey uh, distilling yeah, business. Then we have news from Jameson. Jameson is bringing out something new. It's not a whiskey, it's a whiskey liqueur. The triple distilled Jameson with a natural orange flavor is coming out in the United States and it has 30% ABV. Unfortunately, only US for now. Then we have the Ardara Distillery. They are filling their first casks and they are uh, now hiring Grammy Bell as the distillery manager. After 51 weeks of, uh, after the, yeah, uh, for laying the first brick, the new distillery, the new Irish distillery is getting into production. And I have to say, kudos, that is a really tight project plan and to build a distillery in one year and get it up to production is yeah really good work now they're filling x bourbon barrels with a smoky triple distilled irish single mold distilled in pot stills that sounds really 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 interesting and hopefully we will see a good whiskey coming out in three years yeah, now Graham Bell is the distillery manager. He's a very experienced guy, so he will probably make it really good. Uh, he has experience uh, from Diageo and Dufftown, and he also was uh, working in Louisville. So yeah, this guy has a, a experience from Scotch and America, and hopefully he can do the Irish as well. But then we have something new Irish coming out, and that is the Bailey's Birthday Cake. And yeah, that's exactly how it sounds. It's a 17% Bailey's liqueur with a vanilla biscuit cake in it and kind of you know, mixed together. Uh, so it's a kind of a liquid cake and it's probably a very, very good present for someone who likes Bailey's. Yeah, that was it with Ireland and let's move over to the United States. Uh, first of all, we talk about Buffalo Trace. They are doing something charitable. They are, yeah, doing charity with 2022 bottles, so 2022. Uh, bottles for yeah, charity organizations around the world and they are trying to collect uh, more money and uh, they want to collect two million dollars in total for yeah, charity and good causes. Also, they are now harvesting that red rovi um, corn. So they have grown corn on two small fields. It's the yeah, red rovi corn, and that's a corn that has um, a natural resistance to um, to yeah, illnesses uh, of their their leaves. And yeah, it's a non-GMO plant. So that's what the Buffalo Trace Distillery, they are growing very different brands of corn, all non-GMO, and trying to yeah, experiment a little bit with that in their bourbon. Yeah, it's a bit of an experimental spirit at Buffalo Trace. That's what Buffalo Trace is yeah, made of. If you want to know more about that, I've talked about that in my distillery video back in 2015. And now 
the international news, we come to Australia. The Starboard has a new product, or oh, yeah, new bottlings, and it's the Starboard Octave Barrels. The Australian single malt whiskey company is uh, yeah, completing their core range with 100 liter red wine cask bottlings called Octaves. 48% ABV, and hopefully I will get one of these bottles onto my cask in the near future. Yeah, that was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.